Hey bestie, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the Soul Tribe. I'm Tigra Soul and in today's Tarot Pick a Card reading, we're finding out what does your crush find attractive about you. We're going to be using some oracle as well as pulling tarot to find out what spirit has to say for you. We have three piles to choose from. As always, please remember this is a general reading. It's for a collective group of people. So not everything may resonate for your situation. You have to use your discernment and just leave the rest for somebody else. So we have three piles starting left to right. Pile one will be the rose quartz. Pile two with the carnelian. And pile three with the sunstone. So I'll give you a quick moment to pause, meditate on the one you feel most called to, and I will see you in your reading. Hey, group one, if you've chosen the rose quartz, this is your pile. We start with your oracle cards before we pull some more oracle and some tarot. What does your crush find attractive about you? We have the mystic. We have vulture. Rabbit. And tarantula. Okay, I'm going to first just read what I have coming through before I pull the rest. This is so interesting. So what your crush is finding attractive about you, you may be very mysterious to them. So this person finds your mystery, your intrigue um, attractive. They could feel like there is this air of intimidation about you or perhaps you are misunderstood. Perhaps you are a bit of a misfit. <clears throat> Some of you may be into esoteric or more taboo subjects, but you're also a sweetheart. This person finds it attractive that you have this air of mystery, but also sweetness. There's something soft and fluffy about your aura almost, but then this sharpness, this do not cross me, like as if you are very protected. You have a lot of protection around you. It's hard to read you as well. This person finds that attractive. The tarantula card is so interesting for me as well. I may just quickly grab the guidebook one second. I'm back. So the tarantula card says at a crossroads claiming life purpose. The tarantula represents a moment when a great decision must be made. It involves prioritizing your life's deeper purpose or your dharma. A habit or a routine from the past is sidetracking you from your dream, yet a voice inside keeps begging you to refocus attention. In order to find true happiness, you must choose dharma. Until you do, satisfaction will be fleeting. The tarantula hovers patient and calm like an old friend that knows your inner soul. It already knows you will choose wisely when in balance follows intuition, when out of balance hesitates or over intellectualizes, which is so funny because the rabbit talks about overthinking and getting anxious, um, fearful ways of viewing the world. So this person could feel like you've either been through a lot with vulture as well, but it's kind of made you a little bit mystical mysterious a uh, hidden cloaked shadowy even you may be very perceptive with the rabbit as well and very intuitive this person finds that attractive this dark energy and darkness is not bad dark as in yin feminine energy is what I'm picking up and they find it very attractive you could have Scorpio placements um, but you don't have to. I am just picking that up. Also, I'm getting Virgo, Aquarius. The Tarantula is also fire energy, so Sagittarius placements may be relevant, but it doesn't have to. We have Pleasure, Drink Tea, write a gratitude list and the tarantula said to bring into balance to journal so if you journal or you're a very deep thinker you're very poetic 
or you like to write a lot of things down then they could find that attractive for some of you like it's a hobby of yours that they find attractive they could also think you're a very grateful person in general very down to earth this person ha finds you attractive because there's this sensual feminine energy that surrounds you they feel like there's something very healing about your energy as well I'm getting like a lot of sacral chakra energy with the drink tea because it represents your bodily fluids as well as pleasure here so this person could find um, you sexually healing and that's attractive we have Lakshmi abundance be open to receiving yeah that's that receptive energy and trust with Athena surrender your concerns to the universe you have been heard so this person feels like there's something mysterious about you. You may work with the universe, with the divine. You may be manifesting. Um, you trust that there's a greater plan or purpose. It's like you have this air of tranquility, receptivity about you that they find very attractive. They feel like your inner world is very enriching, very abundant. And you may be very resourceful as well with the vulture card, almost like an alchemist okay vultures clean up disease they rid the environment of disease pests things that are meant to be there they're a valuable part of the ecosystem so you may be again like this healer where you don't allow your shadows your fears your past hold you back but instead you really go towards them you eat them up you transmute it you you eat pain for breakfast you're a badass <laughs> group one this person finds that attractive okay you can handle a lot and you're also very grateful again and down to earth and you're you may attract a lot of blessings because of this because you are maybe very aware that what you focused on expands so you choose to be trusting um trying to remain positive focus on the things in life that you're grateful for you don't overlook your blessings beautiful energy we have the king of wands so this person may be a fire sign leo aries sagittarius or you could be six of swords eight of pentacles wow okay so you have black cat energy you know that saying black cat energy but oh, let me just talk about it yeah queen of swords i feel like that's you we have fire and air energy so the queen of swords is again she's got very strong boundaries she is hard to read she does have a little bit of mystery about her because she's very perceptive cold blunt to the point she sees beyond illusions deception and she has very high standards very high morals she's a truth seeker she's always wanting the right thing to be done at any given moment she's seeking fairness balance and this person finds that in you and they're very attracted to it they feel like you could match their energy or even put them in their place With the six of swords coming out this is usually talking about integrating and healing from lessons mistakes or things in the past and moving to calmer waters but represented with this tarot deck it's coming out as a cat in a cage like it's free to move but it's kind of still sitting in there as if this person finds you to be not much scares you anymore you may be still trapped in some type of old paradigm or way of thinking where you're finding it difficult to come out of those shadows okay that you don't trust easily but they find it attractive because they feel like it gives you this sense of independence as well and mixed with the spiritual mysterious energy about you this, it makes this person want to put in the work it makes them it's like they also they see you with the king and queen of swords this person sees you they understand you
there's something repetitive that you have been doing over and over again. Okay, you may see this, this person may see you do something for work or in a, in a daily routine. Um, they may see, see you and they find it attractive or something that you do for work and for career, this person finds it attractive. The way that you operate in a professional sense. <clears throat> they may also want to work together on collaborating or creating something. This person could think that you're very resilient, persistent, and that's a, a quality or a character trait that they find attractive. Like there's almost a sense of reliability. This person is wondering with the seven of pentacles, there's this energy of wondering, waiting, impatience almost. If you're in a period of rest, um, maybe you're watching this in winter or quite literally your connection is almost frozen or in a period of winter, not much movement, things are slow. This person is thinking of you late at night. What do they find attractive about you? Okay. They like your dark side. They like this the shadow traits that you have, they find it very desirable, uh, seductive even. Like this person knows that you don't have malicious intent, but they can tell with the death things that you have transformed, overcome and been through that it's made you stronger, wiser, intelligent, um, especially clarifying the King of Swords. Like you're very disciplined, mature. It's like you didn't, but you didn't earn all of these traits for no reason. Do you know what I mean? It's like the trials and tribulations that you've been through has only made you more desirable and attractive to them for some reason. We have the Ten of Cups. We also had the Emperor and the Four of Swords fall out, but I'm not taking them, as well as the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Yeah, equal give and take. This person, they feel like you're very fair, generous and balanced. You could have Libra placements, but you don't have to. This person reciprocates your feelings. They find it attractive the way that you are open and receptive to them as well and their advances. This person thinks about having ten of cups, having relationship. If you're not in one, they think think about it. They feel like you would you are very lovable, and it's very rewarding. Okay, this person finds it rewarding because once they do crack down your um, exterior, your shell, your boundaries, or your barriers. Not to say that somebody should overstep your boundaries, but this person finds it attractive that you need to work for your affections you don't just give your love and your soft side out to anyone and everyone you have high standards high boundaries um you've been hurt in the past and this person finds feels like they've cracked the code or they know how to crack the code how to break your walls down and get you to show this soft lovey cuddly version of yourself that they feel they feel it's, it's worth it that they love to see that side of you and like they've cracked your codes that they take pleasure in being able to make you feel in a more soft receptive feminine energy it makes you more valuable to them as well like you're just so precious okay let's finish off now with a few of these oracles i hope you guys are enjoying this reading so far how is your day going mine's great i had carrot cake before this and it was delicious i feel like i just saw cards break out so spirit what else does group one's crush find attractive about group one
daring, experimental, bold, and adventurous. So this person feels like you're a baddie. I said that. This this daring nature to you. You're not afraid. You don't back down. Okay, you also are someone who is very adventurous. Maybe you've made some bold moves in life. You go to the beat of your own drum. To, you follow through on your own ideas. We have flirty, playful, seductive and saucy and fierce, hot, fiery, glowing. You're hot. You are a hottie. You are fierce. You're a baddie. <laughs> this person may fantasize or think about you taking control over them as well or putting them in their place if you know what I'm saying they love the way that you flirt they find you very eloquent very seductive you have a great conversation it's also intellectually a turn on for this person the way that you're able to build tension through that connection not just through physical touch or the way that you look, but on a more energetic level. They feel like you are very playful as well, or you can be. Maybe sometimes you come across as a little bit savage, blunt or to the point, but they know that you're being playful. Maybe you're very sarcastic. They find that attractive. Maybe you have a dark sense of humour. This person feels like you're, you are glowing, you're fierce. They're like, yes, slay, <laughs> group one, slay, slay mama, okay? So that's all I have for you, group one. I'm going to leave this reading here. If you enjoyed, please like the video, comment down below what you thought. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me and I'll see you in another reading group one. Bye. Hey group two, welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the carnelian palm, this is going to be your reading. What does your crush find attractive about you? Let's start with your oracle. We have the challenger. You are a challenge. Okay. We have crocodile. We have Oyster. It's a challenge to get you to open up. This is kind of strange because the last group, it kind of said similar things when I started pulling the tarot. Not in there, just it hit on that a, a little bit. So my collective, everyone subscribe to my channel. You must just be mysterious people is what I'm getting. We have Panther. Okay, I'm going to just read on this before we pull the rest. This person finds it attractive the way you bite back. This person feels like you may look or come across very shy, quiet, reserved, but you're not afraid of a challenge. You're not afraid to bite back. You are someone who may be more introverted or you're very perceptive with this crocodile card. You watch and wait. Um, you're, not, you're not the type of person that anyone would expect to be as precious. You, like you're very protective. There's something very rare about you and about your energy. People may judge you based on your outer shell outer appearance but on the inside you are a gem and so but you you don't reveal this openly you're like a hidden gem maybe you don't let everyone in you're very protective over yourself your inner circle you don't want anything to come and cause conflict and so you may be very protective over your friends family as well this person finds that attractive the Panther card talks about purging a need to cleanse as well. So this person may feel like you're not afraid to submerge yourself into the, into the depths. 
you have you're like a silent powerhouse you're very wise wise and you're not afraid of the dark or of going within looking at your shadow looking at your more uncomfortable feelings you're very comfortable in your own inner realm and this person finds that attractive you may be really great at keeping secrets as well there's this energy of people feel like they can trust you initially they don't because okay this is funny there's this this energy about you where people may be very intimidated by you whether it be because of it's because of this beautiful light you carry group two with the pearl coming out again a diamond a pearl something very high value but when this may trigger other people they may see you as being either aggressive standoffish or there's this intimidation about you um and both eyes are green and yellow so pe a lot of people may be jealous of you envious of you 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 know when it's time to act or versus when it's time to speak you know when it's time to withdraw observe when to build energy you're very intuitive or in touch with your own energy levels and so this is why people may see you as being mysterious because of the way you move is very emotionally based you're very aware over your emotions especially if you don't open up or share much with others about your internal emotional realm it comes across as you are just mysterious or people can't work you out Okay, you may also have a angry side to you or when you're angry people are scared and I'm hearing some people may think you're angry because you may come across like very stone or stoic but when you really are angry and they can tell it's like oh if I was angry you would know okay you would know if I was angry and you wouldn't like it that's the energy because you when you are angry it takes a lot to set you off and when you when you are set off or affected by something it comes out in this spill like you you have you come with receipts with the panther this purging of after a period of you waiting gathering observing coming to some type of perception using your intuition about someone or a situation once you have all that and you do open up it can come out very um sharp and quick so we have abundance planning flow like water you got that wet wet <laughs> okay you may be very you could have water sign placements but that's for somebody what your crush finds attractive is there is a lot of references to fluid okay but yeah they feel like you're a challenge this person finds it attractive they feel they feel like you you remind them of of somebody as well someone in their family line who's a feminine figure like a mother a an auntie a grandmother or you're very reminiscent of your own grandmother or something like that maybe you come from you know the women in your family are very um strong women that's going to be a message for somebody but this person finds it attractive how you're very fluid you may move with a lot of grace or elegance there is something very flowy about you you may be very in flow okay with your own life this person finds it attractive the way that you are in flow you keep track of things you are very rooted very grounded at the same time and they find that attractive we have inner child rediscover the simple pleasures of life take the time to reconnect to your youth so this person loves it when you get playful with them 
and we have soul family you are united under a common cause this you could connect really well with children as well you may be a mother yourself you don't have to though that won't be for everyone but this person loves to see you playful they like to see your inner child come out this is the part of you that's very wholesome and precious like i was saying earlier that they find very attractive they feel like you are a soulmate or part of their soul family so whoever you're watching about group two they don't just find you attractive because of who you are but because there is this inner soulful feeling of home to them they feel very familiar they feel like you could be soulmates soul family they feel like you have a common cause or common interests okay the way that you enjoy pleasure is very attractive to them as well you take pleasure with the things you do actually i'm really thirsty let me just get a drink of water before we pull your tarot whoever this is that you're watching about like with what your crush finds attractive about you i feel like you may have a lot of people who have eyes on you Okay, when I said I felt thirsty, I realized I kept like licking my lips. This person likes your lips. Um, they may like it if you have kissed before. They like the way you kiss, especially if this person has bitten your lip or vice versa. This is an 18 plus though, so take what resonates. But what does group two's person find attractive about them <sighs> seven of swords they like to see you pissed off it's peeing on the wall the devil eight of swords okay this person likes to have a good tussle with you this person i don't know why i'm getting that but i just am okay like they love a good debate they like to get you stuck or thinking about and communicating things like intellectually, conversation wise. They like to talk or go round and round sometimes. This person is licking their lips. I said I was licking my lips. The devil is licking his lips and he's lapping that shit up. Okay. <laughs> low like water he's licking his lips uh, so this person finds you very desirable this person really lusts after you so they're very attracted to you in a sexual sense and you think of oysters they are they are an aphrodisiac as well so you're like an aphrodisiac to this person okay this person with the seven of swords they also find it attractive how a strip like your strategy the way that you strategize think or move through life if you're a little territorial or possessive they also find that attractive this person could feel like you're indecisive sometimes yeah or they like this back and forth of things that go on between you they feel like they're stuck on you there's a, d a baby dummy on the ground of that eight of swords like a cat stuck up in a room like a baby interesting when i ask what they find attractive about you why does it feel like they're stuck on you though what do they find attractive about you why does this feel like someone who's like your boyfriend or girlfriend and you guys have just had an argument they find it cute when you're mad clarify eight of swords what do they find attractive we have the three of cups okay they feel like you're very protective over your family those you care about like you'll do anything you don't want your friends to be stuck okay you maybe invite your friends out to go out and about they feel like they like the way that you are helping you help others out they feel like you're very friendly um, there's this feeling like you want to be free as well. They like your thirst for freedom. They find it attractive.
we have strength this person feels like you have a lot of courage you're very courageous strong clarify the devil page of pentacles okay you're a snack you're a snack this person may want to give you food they want they like they they find that attractive when you're eating even the way that you eat um they may want to ask you out on a date or something but they may want to give you like a gift a treat maybe you are a treat to them it's making me feel like of like it's making me think with the page of pentacles because that's about earthly realms materials sustenance okay like you give them sustenance and the pages are about potentials it's about things happening in the physical realm like they have a goal to snack on you they have exterior motives maybe as well six of wands yeah okay they feel like you stand out you stand out it's very attractive maybe your perfume is very unique as well queen of swords three of swords the world if this is about an ex i feel like it is okay this may be an ex for some of you or the, a third party situation this person may still feel connected to you even if things have ended they feel like energetically telepathically connected to you maybe they find you very intuitive as well like you you could be um, a divine feminine watching this what else do they find attractive about group two if you're enjoying the video don't forget to like it as well group one group two helps me so much angelic pure heavenly and healing this person feels like you were sent from heaven you are an earth angel there's something so heavenly glowing light about you this person feels like you were supposed to be part of their life you are united with that soul family card they feel closer to the divine when they are connecting or connected to you it brings them closer to the divine they feel you make them think very philosophically you make them introspect they feel like there is this profound attraction pull towards you magnetism this devilish dark energy so this person finds it attractive the way that you you just kind of spin them out of control you make them want to act up you make them feel animalistic how badly they want you or are attracted to you but there's something very scorpionic almost about that lusty desire feeling that they have towards you that causes them to go within they're looking at their shadow they're wondering why why they feel this way possible it's possible as well that they have some fears coming up that are binding them um, causing them to not be able to act on these desires or the passions that they do feel towards you maybe that's why we have the eight of swords coming out like i said that someone is trapped inside but they want to be outside with their friends or they the three of cups can also talk about a reconciliation and i said it could be third party as well with the three of swords so three of cups three of swords if this is an ex or someone that you are in a third party with it's like you are off limits to them but they want to touch you they have this desire for you 
for some of you, people in relationships may find you attractive or tempting. They may not act on it, but they think about it. You could be a temp, you could come across as a temptress to people. Yeah, a challenge. If it's you that's in a relationship, this person thinks about challenging that. There's something here about you being soft, gentle, tender with the oyster card. But there's people here with jealous eyes. So people who are in relationships, okay, and if they are having their eyes on you, maybe their partners get jealous of you or something. I don't know. You'll have to take what resonates. This is a general reading. But that's all I have for you, group two. I'm going to leave your reading here. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below what you thought. And of course, subscribe and join the Soul Tribe if you're not already. See you next time, guys. Bye. Hey, group three, welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the Sunstone Tumble, this will be your pile. What does your crush find attractive about you? What are they finding attractive? We'll start with your oracle. We have the loner. We have fox. We have a swan. We have dolphin. Okay, this is giving strong twin flame energy just because the mirroring in the swan card, dolphin card talks about telepathy and the fox is the perfect partner. It's somebody who is relationship material. So what your crush finds attractive about you is the way that you're comfortable in your own company. You are very elegant, graceful. This person feels like you're an ideal lover somebody who makes a great partner, someone who has the other person's back. You work really well when it comes to partnerships, but in saying that, you're not afraid to be on your own at the same time. There's something very playful and creative about you and about your energy as well. Something that ma This makes you very authentic to this person they feel like it comes from a very poetic, intelligent place. Something about your mind, your mental, the way that you think. It, you may be spiritual, but you don't, you don't have to be. I assume you are if you're watching a tarot reading, but the dolphin card does give me very high vibrational, almost starseed type energy. healer, light and blessings, innately intelligent. The gifts of the dolphin are beyond what human minds can grasp. These personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and they enjoy working on the level of spirit. It's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact that they make in this world. These creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming in contact with a dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life. This card can also indicate a profound blessing on the way. So you may be a healer. You could have your own strong spiritual practice. But this person finds your energy to be very healing. We have radiance. My presence has an impact on the lives of those around me. You really impacted this person big time, group three. Okay, they feel like ever since they met you, their life has never been the same. You radiate beauty, light, healing. You could have a very gorgeous aura, especially this is the most colourful pile of all the animal cards that I've had today. So sunflowers could be relevant, but they don't have to be. This person just feels like you have so much light within you. You're very beaming. Focus. I am tenacious and unwavering in my intention. This person feels like you are very graceful when it comes about the way that you go towards your goals. You're very perceptive. You move with intention. You are intelligent. Just being in your presence, this person feels like is a blessing. They love your energy. They're attracted to your energy. We have be still. So this is the type of person they could just sit with you in silence and still feel so happy. We have positive affirmations and alone time with the loner. So again, this person likes the way that you 
take care of yourself, the way that you are able to spend time in your own company. You are beautiful because you love yourself. You are getting to know yourself. You're comfortable in your own company and this is highly attractive because it gives you this energy of independence, authority even, like you have full authority over who you are and you don't deal with other people's projections. You have this positive outlook that isn't just on the way that you view the world but the way that you view yourself and others I feel like you've come to a lot of wisdom or realizations in your alone time that is helping you to move more intentionally and to know when to move or when to sit still this person feels like you have a great balance of rest I don't feel that you have this hustle culture about you this person loves that you are kind of slow and steady willing to rest be still enjoy life be grateful and in the present moment is what it feels like and they just find that very attractive it's very feminine divine feminine energy you need regular time to refocus your your thoughts and your priorities you really value your alone time and it's attractive. You have your own things going on, your own hobbies. What does this person find attractive about group three, please, spirit? We have the three of pentacles. We have the page of pentacles. The way that you work with others is really attractive as well. This person could feel like you help others to learn, to improve as well you you're very collaborative you work well with others like i said earlier on two of cups and the hermit if we didn't have the hermit come out with two oracles talking about loner and alone time would this even be real that is what i'm saying spirit okay extra emphasis this is virgo energy now so this person why do they want you to be alone so bad Okay, this person wants to get you alone so badly, group three. Hello? This person wants to know, how do I get group three alone? Wow, maybe you... This person wants to get you alone. Maybe you're withdrawn or you haven't seen them in a while. I don't know, there's just so much emphasis on this. On why do they find you attractive? They wonder what you do in your alone time. You're like a black cat in the night. What are you doing, group three? Be for real. What are you what are you up to? Okay, this person could be feel feel like there's this air of mysticism about you as well. They want to be around you. They want to be right on you, right up close next to you. They're like, don't leave me alone. And now I'm hearing that um in nonsense with Sabrina Carpenter how she's like I might change your number to don't leave me alone that's what your crush is like okay <laughs> what else do they find attractive about you clarify three of pentacles the queen of cups okay so this person feels like you again you may be a healer a therapist or you're very emotionally intelligent you're the type of person people may go to um for comfort for advice just for an ear someone to talk to they find that very attractive how attentive and caring and compassionate you are with others the way that you treat other people you might treat them really well with respect or you're very sweet and caring and nurturing to other people and they find that attractive about you the sun yeah you you offer people a, a helping hand you illuminate things you you bring this happiness optimism positivity to any group setting or wherever you are um you you are a ray of sunshine with radiance and the sun coming out. This person feels like you, you could be very bubbly or there's something very youthful about you as well. This is this youthful glow or youthful like spirit, a free spirit 
very happy, positive, bubbly, outgoing, or you can be, even though you may be more introvert, you can be very bubbly and get along well with others. This person loves the way that you love. Your love is healing. Your love may be very unconditional as well. This person feels like your love gives them hope, a light in the dark. This person feels like you're a light in the dark. Your love is healing. They find you attractive because you have helped this person to regain faith, faith in other people, faith in love and relationship because of the way that you show up, because you keep your heart chakra open with that queen of cups. I feel like you have a very open heart chakra. And even though you are, you're unwavering, you're focused, you're, you have this clear mind it's not because you're not in touch with your emotions it's like I feel like you have mastered your mental space or you're working on doing that and if anything it just your your connect between heart and mind the way you think and versus feeling is very attractive to them very inspiring Clarify Hermit, please. We have the Two of Wands. So this person can't stop thinking about you when they're in their alone time. When they're alone, they may feel you thinking of them or feel like you're also alone, like they're picking up on you telepathically. We have 222 two, two coming out and the moon as well. So this person feels like you both hold a flame to each other. This little cat is holding a lizard in the tree, catching it from there, but talks about planning, leaving comfort zone. So maybe you don't come out much. Maybe people don't see you as much. You don't leave your comfort zone. You, you're up in the trees. You're hard to see. You're, you're a rare person. You don't come across this type of personality often. You're most comfortable in your own space. And we have the lovers, six of cups on the bottom, and these all fell out as well. Eight of pentacles, ten of cups, page of wands. I won't take them, but I'm just saying this person would love to spark some type of situation with you, and they would love to keep putting in the work too. They feel like you, this, they have this excitement, this passionate feeling that you would be a really great partner or lover or spouse they just have a feeling about you okay this person wants to protect you the two cats are inside and it's looking outside watching the third cat walk past so yeah they feel like you're just very sweet very unconditional the candle just went out Anything else for group three? What does this person find attractive about group three? Grounded, down to earth, unbothered, honest, frank, truthful, sincere. Yeah, there's this, I said you bring clarity, you bring light to situations. You're very frank and honest like a child. The way that you do it comes from a very pure place. You're very down to earth. Very, there's this innocence about you with the sun. The way the sun offers truth, it, it does it by just by shining. It brings everything to light. Everything that was done in the dark comes to light. So this person feels like you're very authentic within yourself. They may also really like your body. They find that attractive. <clears throat> They feel like you are un, you're an unproblematic queen, group three. Funny, entertaining and amusing. They also feel like you are a funny, funny, funny. You make them laugh. You make them feel very happy. Your smile and your laugh, it may also be contagious. But this person just feels like you're very free-spirited, very bright. They like to watch you. 
you amuse them for sure. Especially with that hermit Virgo energy. If this person likes a good puzzle, they like a good mystery, they're attracted to, you could be like attracted to, um, like you love watching like psychology type movies and shows, like thrillers and psychological dramas and things like that. Or this person could, it's coming through very clearly now. And if that's the case, it's like you're, you could be so, in, so interesting of a person that it keeps this person very entertained. They may keep their focus on you or you, your energy just attracts people's focus or attention without you having to try. It's just your aura. It's just the energy. You're just, you are who you are. Okay. You just, you're that girl. Endearing. Yeah. That's beautiful energy. I love that. Very refreshing. This person feels like you're refreshing. So I'm going to leave this reading here now, group three. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know by commenting and liking the video. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys in another reading. Bye, group three.